Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. It is very lovely to have you back. And if you are new to this channel and are into learning filmmaking tips and tricks, learning DaVinci Resolve and having a look at some pretty cool gear, this channel might be something for you and I would recommend you to subscribe. So you might remember I did this video a while back, the pop-up head effect, and in today's video we are going to do a version number two and I'll show you some different ways you can make the same effect but way better, way more fun and maybe also a little more creative. So without further ado, let's get right to that video. Okay, so what you'll need for this shot is your basic shot of a person. You will need a little bit of a green screen shot, but make sure to ask your friends for help because otherwise it will not be so easy. So with all the shots imported into the Bint Resolve here in the editing page, the fastest way to do this trick is to highlight your clips, right click and go up and make a new fusion clip. And with that done, we'll go into fusion and uh, for default, we are just going to change around the media in uh, one and two around. So it will be in the right order. So we'll make sure that our media two is our foreground, which is our green screen clip. And that's all we need to do right now. So we're going to hit uh, control space bar and just write in Delta key here. And that's right there. So we're going to add that into our composition and we're going to do a pretty fast green screen. So we're just going to go up here and we're going to select the color by dragging this color pair. And that's more or less what we want to do. Then if we go into the different tabs, we can clean up our mat or our green screen. And we're just going to do that in the third tab here. Just playing around with the threshold a little bit. I'm not going to go way deep or anything into this at all. Uh, next up, we are going to do a garbage mat. I'm going to drag in a polygon and I'm just going to draw a shape with that. Something like that I think and we're just doing some kind of a shape around my head like that and then we're going to connect the polygon mask to this gray one here which is, which is our garbage mat and now we need to invert that because we only want to see the head so with the merge selected I'll go down and then move my head around and I'm going to size it down just a little bit like so there we are and then I am going to soften the edges in the polygon like so Oh, and by the way, the main reason for shooting the actor or person on the green screen and moving him closer to the camera is that you will not have to scale up the image and in that way you're not going to lose any resolution when doing this effect. Okay, so I just noticed a little bit of a thing we might do as well, so let's just again hit spacebar control and we're just going to add in tracker and we're going to add a tracker in going to hold down to shift and then drag that down in between the media in and the merge node and just to make this a little bit easier I'm just going to disconnect that from the merge and I'm going to take the tracker and uh, I'm going to connect that to the media out just to make things a little bit easier on me so with the tracker selected, I'm just going to take the tracker. I'm just going to drag the tracker, find a pretty contrasted uh, spot on my image and push here to uh, track forward. Or let's just go and um, move to the beginning. That's going to make it easy on me. And let's just track forward. And it does a pretty good job at tracking, by the way, and it is pretty precise. And uh, that's one of the great thing about uh, the tracker inside of Fusion. 
Okay, that's done. So let's uh, reconnect all our stuff. But first off, I'll go to the second tab and I'll go to match frame. And then I'm going to add in the merge again. I'm going to disconnect my polygon. So, and then I'm just going to connect the delta down to the merge and I'm going to push this back into the garbage mat. So now we have this. And uh, now my head movement should be following my body in some form or way. Great little effect, isn't it? So maybe you want to do this and you do not have a green screen. So I'll show you another effect. You can do it the same way in Fusion, but uh, for this example, I'll show you how to do it inside of the color tab. So again, we have one clip and I'm going to duplicate that by pushing Alt and drag. And I'm just going to give this a different color like orange. And then I'm just going to move those up. And here on my third layer, I just have a clean plate. Okay, so first off, I'm going to push D to deselect those. And then I'm going to do some zooming in this head here. I'll zoom a little bit more. Something like, like this. And uh, I would recommend you, if you do the thing, to shoot in the highest possible resolution. Um, but you'll figure that out. So f to make this little effect work, we are just going to go into the clip and uh, we're going to do a mask and we're just going to draw again a shape. I'm trying to make it around the neck somehow. So something like that. And again, it doesn't have to be that precise, but We'll try to be precise. Okay, so just finishing up this thing, the first part of this thing here. Next thing is right click and then add an alpha out. That's just by dragging uh, the line down to the blue icon you just added in. So for the next thing, I just want to go in here and I want to soften the the mask edges i want to put in some inside and also the outside and that's easier if you just select that off in the corner right here okay so now i'm just going to put in my power windows again i'll just do some small corrections to my mask and now i'm just going to select my clips again and push d I'm going to take the top clip and then I'm just going to move the position a little bit. Maybe I'll do a little bit the rotation angle, something like that, maybe not, something like that. So here we have the effect and then you see, of course, the problem uh, that my head is moving. And the way to fix that is to just do a tracking of the mask. I'll push the frame button here so it will if I do some basic corrections they will change the frame for me but then um, this one seems to be okay and then again we could just go back into my head here and uh, go to my mask and I thought it was a little too much and too little so we'll just change around the numbers and again this is just a quick tutorial on how to do this, this little effect so you can of course make a much better result than i am doing right here but the basic of how to do it is right here anyway i do hope you found this video useful if you did please hit that subscriber button give the video a like share it with your friends if you think it will help them out and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel please hit that bell icon down in the corner until next time keep filming keep learning and keep sharing